now that we know what each area represents, we can try to find ways to increase the thermal efficiency of our simple Rankine cycle. More specifically, we will try three different things, okay? So our goal here is to increase the thermal efficiency of a simple Rankine cycle. So now for the moment, we are not allowed to mess up with the cycle, change the processes or bring new components. More specifically, we will try the following things. The first one, let's try first to see if we can reduce the pressure in the condenser, okay? So reduce the pressure in the condenser. So by doing this, what we can see, the pressure line will go down, okay? And the consequence is that our area underneath the process 4 to 1 will decrease, okay, which is good for us. We're rejecting less heat. And you see that the area inside will increase. So the work net will increase and the pressure, the QL will decrease without touching Q in, which is good. So, but what we can notice, and this is something we will have to always keep in mind, is what's going on with the quality. So you see that point four is moving a bit to the left. Oh, what does it mean? This means that the quality is going down, which is not good news for us because lower quality means more moisture, more droplets, and therefore this can reduce the, the efficiency of our work and also reduce the lifespan of our turbine. So this is the first thing we'll be trying. We will compute the thermal efficiency and see what we get, okay? The second thing we'll be trying is to increase Tmax. This is probably the most obvious one. And why? Because we know that Carnot efficiency is telling us that it's one minus TL over TH, and it's telling us, you know what, for a constant TL, if you maximize TH, so therefore your allowable maximal efficiency will go up, okay? But if you see it on, on our cycle, this is cool because the work, the area will increase, However, there is a price to pay here is that also QN will increase, which is the area between state two and state three, okay? So we are increasing both QN and also the work net. But also the good news is that the quality now will increase, so which is something we like. Now, basically we will calculate again the thermal efficiency but we have to keep in mind that there is a limit, okay? And this limit is set by your material properties, okay? In steam power cycles, in steam turbines, you cannot increase the maximal temperature up beyond 700 degrees C, okay? So we will reach a certain limit. The third one that we'll try is to increase the pressure in the boiler. So if we increase the pressure in the boiler, so you see that the, the maximal pressure line moves up. Therefore, the consequence is that the work net will increase, which is good, but again, QN will increase, okay? And we have to be fair here because by increasing QN or the pressure in the boiler, we have to keep the same maximal temperature, otherwise we will be changing two parameters at the same time, P in the boiler and T max. By doing this, we see that it's okay. We don't know actually if the efficiency will go up, right? Because both terms, work net and Q in, both of them are increasing. But we see that there is a warning here. We have to flag the fact that 
quality is going down q uh, x sorry is going down and this is we will have to check okay do we will proceed in order to solve all this and to calculate the thermal efficiency and the the quality and so on do we proceed instead of solving each time the same problem by hand what we'll be doing will be called in this using matlab okay on matlab you can add a function called x steam and using x steam what you can do you can calculate directly the different enthalpies and the different properties okay and this will be very convenient for us because we will just have to set the different parameters and check each time what is the new efficiency and for example what is the new work net and what is the quality and this will allow us to compare our different solutions to criticize them to see is it enough do we have to stop here maybe we'll be reaching very high efficiency so our job is done or if it's not the case we will have to identify what are the next steps